Mark the Movie Man here, and we're here with two more filmmakers at the Madison Horror Film Festival. We have the uh, people behind The Awakening. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, what role uh, you had in the film? I'm Lou Simon. I am the writer, producer, and co-director of the film. Hey, Mark. Thank you. Uh, my name is Juan Gonzalez, producer of The Awakened. Great, great. Now, uh, for The Awakened, I've had a privilege of seeing it already. Um, where did you come up with the idea for it? I mean, I know hurricanes are kind of popular down in Miami. Well, not popular, but uh, <laughs> where did you get the idea of kind of making it a, a paranormal film? Actually, the idea of the movie came first with the idea of making a movie. We decided we are going to make a movie, and then based on what we could, you know, really raise, considering we were first-time filmmakers, we, dis- we needed a story that could happen in one location. So that's where we came up with the idea of having it dr- happen during a storm so that you had to limit everything that happened, you know, during the storm, so in one location. And then Juan came up with the idea of the, of the spiritual healing, and he has a very interesting story about that, actually. Actually, uh, a friend of mine calls me, so it's based on a loosely based true story. Oh, okay. uh, a friend of mine calls me over, says, hey, um, I'm opening up a new business, and I was kind of intrigued. He didn't want to tell me over the phone, so I go over here to his new business, and uh, he begins waving his hands around my body, mm-hmm. uh, and, he's, and I'm like, he goes, I can uh, spiritually heal you. <laughs> so I was like, wow, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> so we decided to go with that story, uh, and you'll see that in the movie. Great, great. Now, uh, you're, this, you, this, so this is your first film that you've done? First film. Great. First anything. And, uh, huh? you, first anything. First anything. Yes. <laughs> and uh, did you enjoy the filmmaking process? So what was kind of the uh, hurdles that you found? making it since it was your first film everything (laughs) (laughs) but yes it's definitely been a lot of fun and uh we've been very blessed a lot of things just fell into place for us but um probably gosh everything finding actors finding crew members uh and now it's the the hardest no hurdle and finding distribution is probably the the hardest thing i would say (laughs) Uh, well, I gotta say the the strength, uh, the experience is probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my lifetime. Uh, one I would be more than glad to do again, but I definitely gotta thank the co-producers because they really believed in her writing and they believed in the script and the whole concept. So the experience, what what I have now is obviously more experience to to take that extra step and, and make another one. Looking forward to it, but really enjoyed it. Great. Well, uh, I look forward to seeing it again. Uh, were there any influences for uh, you for the script uh, when you were doing the writing? Did you have any films that you kind of inspired you to where to take it, or did you kind of just take from his story and uh, uh, work well, that into the film? Well, I, actually, what happened after he, he visited his friend was uh, that I went to, to have a spiritual healing done, mm-hmm. and I had the strangest sensation and it's something I highly recommend because it's funny we give it a kind of a scary twist on this but it actually was a really nice experience and it really did cure me of these headaches I was having so um, I mean my inspiration was definitely having had that experience and and a a thousand and one different horror films that I've seen (laughs) in my lifetime so you're a big fan of horror films Uh, you have any favorites Gosh, um, I know it's always a hard question. That is ask. a hard question. I mean, I think the scariest movie of all times has to be A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh-huh. There's something about having somebody, something that you can't really fight, be- and you have to sleep. How right. do you go around that? So I think for me, that's probably the scariest film I ever made. What about you? You have a favorite scary film? Actually, I'm not a big true horror fan <laughs> as she is. Um, but I truly enjoyed working on it as a producer and um, I'm, a, I'm more of an action adventure uh, oh, type sure. person so I brought maybe another aspect to the filmmaking process um, but in regards to scary movies uh, one of the most scariest movies I've ever seen was Alien oh, sure. so that's why I stay away from them <laughs> <laughs> well I look forward to seeing the film again and I look forward to also your next project you any coming up at all yes. that you're working on yes we're we're developing two different projects actually one is going to be very low budget found footage type more of a slasher type of film and another one's more uh, more of a supernatural thriller great well i look forward to seeing it thank you so hey, much Mark, we want to thank you appreciate it thank you want to thank um rich mm-hmm. peterson and simply vicious with the madison horror film festival for giving us this opportunity to show the awaken here in madison wisconsin thank you
Well, you're welcome. Welcome to Wisconsin. Hope you guys stick around for a little while.